Good evening, and welcome to Upper St. Clair Stadium. Tonight we're going to recognize our senior players with senior recognition, recognition ceremony. We have 13 senior lacrosse players this year. We'd like to recognize them for their hard work, leadership, and dedication to Upper St. Clair lacrosse. We'd like to recognize number 15, midfielder Ryan Betzel. Ryan is the son of Keith and Paulina Betzel. Ryan is a member of the National Honor Society and has achieved highest honor award. Ryan has participated in the cross grades 9 through 12, rec soccer, and was a member of the ski club. Ryan is a two-year varsity lacrosse letterman. Ryan plans to attend Duquesne University after graduation, where he will be in the physical, or excuse me, the physician's assistant program. Ryan's biggest athletic thrill was the Westerville, Ohio trip last year. Next is number 23, midfielder Dwayne Desenzo. Dwayne is the son of Derek and Ceci Desenzo. Dwayne is a member of the National Honor Society, National Hispanic Recognition Program, Upper St. Clair Gifted Program, and achieved honor roll. Dwayne has participated in the cross grades nine through 12, Pittsburgh Select the Cross Travel Team, Rec Basketball, and Athletes Taking Action. Dwayne is a two-year varsity letter winner in lacrosse. Dwayne plans to attend Penn State University Park and study engineering. Dwayne's biggest athletic thrill was the bench clear against Pine Richland. A fond memory. Next is number 14, attack, Tommy Fitch. Tom is the son of Eric and Kathleen Fitch. Tom is a member of the National Honor Society, achieved highest honor roll, and was a Student of the Year nominee in 2013. Tom has participated in the cross grades 9 through 12, freshman football, basketball, nothing but nets club, and the lumberjack club. Tom is a varsity captain, three-year varsity lacrosse letterman, and was a blue chip 225 all-star in 2013. Tom plans to attend Swarthmore College after graduation and play lacrosse. Tom's biggest athletic throw was beating Hampton last year. Next is number seven, midfielder Mike Krenicich. Mike couldn't attend tonight's game, but Mike's mother will be here tonight. Michelle, or excuse me, Emily. Mike has participated in both youth and high school lacrosse and boxing. Michael plans to attend college after graduation. Michael's biggest athletic thrill is realizing athletic and physical fitness through hard work and dedication. Midfielder, number nine, Robert Harbola. Robert is the son of Scott and Anna Harbola. Robert has achieved high honor roll grades 10 through 12. He has participated in the cross grades nine through 12, cross country and Latin 10 through 11. Robert is a two year varsity in the cross letterman and a one-year cross-country letterman. Robert plans to attend college after graduation to study health sciences and play Division III lacrosse. Robert's biggest athletic, athletic thrill was the first day of conditioning with Coach Yates and coming back from a year off with a diabetic complication. <laughs> Next is number 18, defenseman Colin Liss. Colin is the son of Kent and Esma Liss. Colin has achieved honor roll. Colin has participated in the cross grades 9 through 12, football grades 9 through 10, and Pittsburgh Select Lacrosse Travel Team. Colin is a varsity captain and a three-year varsity lacrosse letterman. Colin plans to attend college and major in business after graduation. Number 24, midfielder Trevor Morrow. Trevor is the son of JC and Linda Morrow. Trevor has achieved high honor roll football all-conference running back 2013 and was a member of the football conference champions 2012-2013. Trevor has participated in both lacrosse and football grades 9 through 12. Athletes taking action and diaries for charities. Trevor is a three-year varsity football letterman and a two-year varsity lacrosse letterman. Trevor plans to attend w &J College after graduation and play football. Trevor's biggest athletic thrill was back-to-back -back football conference championships. Next, we have number 10, defenseman John Pekela. 
John is the son of Jack and Eileen Pedale. John is a chief honor roll. John is participating in the cross grades 9 through 12, soccer grade 9, rec soccer, rec basketball, and athletes taking action. John is a two-year varsity lacrosse letterman and was a rec soccer captain. John plans to attend John Carroll University after graduation and study business and participate in ROTC. John's biggest athletic thrill was the rec soccer team winning the championship this year and winning the Christmas lacrosse tournament. Next, number 22, attackman Kyle Page. Kyle is the son of Bill and Lori Page. Kyle is a member of the National Honor Society and has achieved highest honor roll. Football second team all-conference 2012, football first team all-conference 2013, Heart of a Champion 2013 Football Scholarship Award, 2013 Football Fabulous 22 South Region, 2013 Varsity Football Team Captain, 2012 Panthers Practicing with Pride and Passion Award, 2011 Lacrosse Rookie of the Year and member of the Football Conference Championship Teams 2012-2013. Kyle has participated in football grades 9 through 12, lacrosse 9 through 12, Rec Basketball 9 through 12, Pittsburgh Select Lacrosse, and Ski Club. Kyle is a varsity lacrosse captain and a three-year letterman in both football and lacrosse. Kyle was awarded a full Evans Scholarship to Miami University where he plans to major in engineering. Kyle's biggest athletic thrill was beating Mount Lebanon for the Football Conference Championship junior year. Number 35, midfielder David Pencroft. David is the son of Keith and Karen Pencroft. David is involved in the Leadership Academy, sessions one and two, and participated in hockey grades nine and 10, and the cross grades 10 through 12. David was a member of the Hockey State Championship and Penguin Cup Championship Team 2010-2011. David plans to attend Penn State Altoona after graduation. David's biggest athletic thrill was winning states in hockey. Number 37, midfielder David Rice. David is the son of Dave and, Keith and Hope Rice. David is a member of the National Honor Society and has achieved highest honor roll. David has participated in lacrosse grades 9 through 12, Pittsburgh Select Lacrosse, Natural Helpers, Athletes Taking Action, and the Mentoring Program. David is a varsity lacrosse captain, four-year varsity lacrosse letterman, and was involved in the Keystone State Games. David plans to attend West Virginia University and major in biomedical engineering. David's biggest athletic thrill was making the varsity team as a freshman. Next, number two, long stick midi, Ben Southern. Ben is the son of Bob and Lori Southern. Ben has achieved high honor roll, second team all conference wide receiver 2013, and has participated in the cross grades nine through 12. Football 9 through 12, Rec Basketball 9 through 12, and Diaries for Charity. Ben is a varsity lacrosse captain and a three year letterman in both football and lacrosse. Ben plans to attend John Carroll University after graduation, where he plans to study business and play lacrosse. Ben's biggest athletic thrill was scoring a 76 yard touchdown against North Allegheny in the 2013 Whitfield football playoff game. Next is defenseman number eight, Christian Teal. Christian is the brother of Harrison Teal. He's the son of Larry and Lisa Teal. Christian has achieved honor roll, varsity lacrosse rookie of the year 2012, varsity lacrosse defensive player of the year 2013. Christian participated in lacrosse grades nine through 12, football grade nine, rec soccer, rec basketball, Pittsburgh Select Travel Team, Maryland Lacrosse Club, Diaries for Charities, Poetry Club, Breast Cancer Awareness, and Ski Club. Christian is a varsity lacrosse captain and a three-year varsity lacrosse letterman. Christian plans to attend college after graduation and study business. Christian's biggest athletic thrill was being granted 2013 Whitfield Section 1, Division 1, All Section Division Defensive Team Award. Let's give a big round of applause for our 2014 Upper St. Clair High School Senior Lacrosse Players and Parents.
where Ben Nadler will sing our national anthem. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming, whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight for the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming, and the rocket's red glare, the bombs bursting in air, gave proof through the night that our flag was still there. Oh, say does that star-spangled banner yet wave for the land of the free and the home of the brave? Okay, we're live again, Upper St. Clair. Lacrosse Varsity Senior Rec Night. Panthers will host section rival Central Catholic tonight. Dwayne Desenzo out there, senior at Senior Rec Night. He's going to take the face off of the Panthers. Ball is loose, picked up by Central. That's Curly, number 23 for Central. Ball down loose. Back to D, back to their goalie. Central will clear. Tim Kerr on the mic. Panthers 12-1. On the season, Central is four and five. Panthers four and zero in the section. Central one and three in the central in the section. Panthers were up at Butler the other night, won that game, easy win for them. We got Kyle Page back in for the Panthers tonight. Senior tack man has an ACL tear, but he's got the brace on, going to give it a go. Had a few minutes up at Butler, got the play. Okay, Central's top side right. Betzel will chase, balls down. Back up top to Curley. Looks to dodge. Descends to beat. Nothing there. It was heaps with the ball, passes back across. Dodge there, nothing there. Side left. Central with the ball. Panthers have this game. We have one more game up at State College. On Saturday, then we'll play Mount Lebanon next Wednesday. That'll be the section championship game, the way it's placing out. Mount Lebanon is 4-0 in the section also. Okay, we have Tommy Fitch with the ball, finds Mac Matson. They'll wait for the senior midfield line to come on. That's David Rice, 37, Brian, Ryan Betzel, number 15, and Trevor Morrow. Christian Teal back on D along with Ben Southern and Colin Liss. Morrow to Rice. Panthers will work it around. Go off a set play. Page tomorrow doesn't connect. Betts will chase. Ten minutes to go in the first scoreless section game here at Upper St. Clair Stadium. Reigns held off tonight. Ball checked down. Picked up by Matson. Roll off a pitch screen. Go off a page screen. He's going to curl our wing. Take that shot. Score. Boy, they let him go. The slide didn't happen. Good goal by Mac Matson. Panther goal number 21, Mac Matson. Unassisted. So Panthers up top, 1 0. Braden Kai back out there on the faceoff now. We have David Pencrot, number 35. Near side, Ben Southern far side, long stick mini on the faceoff. We have Fraud out there for Central against Kai. Let's see what we can do. Kai's a very good faceoff man. Kicks it clean, scoops it up. Ball's down, got checked down, ball is still loose. Flipped up, ball is still loose. Good scrum for the ball, Matson comes out with a clean. Being hounded by a defenseman for Central. Panthers will make a switch. It'll be freshman Colin Curl, scamper on. Pencrot will come off. Cut inside by Kai. Kyle Page didn't see him, Kyle back at X. So we have Junior Kybe, Junior Bartusiak, freshman Kerr out there midfield, same attack. We have Mats on the pitcher curling inside. 
Kyle Page, see if he can work anything with that bum knee. Little dodge, look nice and pass inside. Pitch has it, got too deep, unable to shoot. Toss it back to Matson. Panthers will run another play. Three men in the crease. Look inside, fed, nothing there, ball is loose. A good ride by Kyle Page, ball is loose, picked up by Central. Back to keeper. See if I can get a name on that keeper. Whoop, I didn't get a picture big enough, so we'll just call him the keeper. Make it across. Oh, nice little swim move. Pass back inside. Good dodge. Guys play Ben Southern, knock that down. Base dodge. Southern got the pull in there, knocked that pass down, or knocked that attempted shot down. Back up top. That's Dort with the ball. Door warped. Kai will come off. Mark Panko will go on, long stick midi, junior. Gonna work a dodge against Bertuziak, see what they have. Left to right, nothing there, looks to feed. Not gonna happen. Teal and Southern both with long pull out there to deflect that pass, ball out of bounds. Panther ball, 7.48 to go in the first, one nothing Panthers. Section one game, Upper St. Clair hosting Central. Oh, they're gonna say, we tipped it, so it's gonna be Central ball. No, it is Panther ball. That's, I had the right call there. I thought we did. They tipped it, so it is our ball. Clear it up top. Lots of room. Tristan Teal, a little trouble with the ball. A little bobble. Swim move with that long pull out of bounds. Boy, he was found himself all alone. Just couldn't handle that pass. Ball stepped in. It's loose. Pick up by Central. That's heaps with the ball. Lines curly up top. The Weber, left side. Calling out shooter, can't get a name on number 18. Good steal, Ben Southern, pass across, good clear. Kyle Page with the ball. Stepping in the box, he's got room. Gets by there, nice, oh, beautiful pass. That was an unselfish play, should have taken that shot. Boy, he had room to shoot. He's a very good feeder, so he was just unselfish. You're gonna find Fitchy over there, ball just got out of his cross. Move pretty well there, straight line, he's moving well. You gotta watch that lateral movement, we'll keep an eye on that. Panthers with a strong ride. Oh, look like a ward there. Top right, ball is in. You have to step it in that box from the 30 inside the restraining box. You have 10 seconds to come across midfield, step it in. 6.42 to go in the first. Left hand shot, save Keith. Chase by Central, it's going to maintain possession. Colin this will defend behind, number 18. Panthers with eight seniors that see a lot of playing time on this team, so this is a good year for the Panthers to achieve well. They've done so well so far. One loss to Pine Richland. Dodge inside, nothing there. They're going to work the perimeter. Have one man sitting in the crease, look like in a 3-1-3 or 3-1-2 rather position. Look the dodge, has Kerr to beat. Get to hands free, shot wide. Central ball, that was heaps with a shot. Got Ben Tobias in there, number 16. Sophomore midfielder, good save, Gavin Keith. Saw the ball, squared up. Came loose, ball's down. Ball's still down. Central picks it up. Goes wide, that's McClure with the ball. Little fake inside. Christian Teal says no. A little slip on the foot there. Ball down. Stick down. Good pick up Panthers. Good work by Christian Teal. Uses speed. Work it up the sideline. Tosses it to Ben Tobias. Benny has the ball. Good little move. Spin. Got Panko in the middle. Straight down the middle. Nice pass back up top. Fitch the right shot. Save. We've got a Stoppage in play. Let's see what we got here. Oh, we got an offside. It's 30 second offside, Central. <laughs> offside? Offside, Central Catholic. 30 seconds. Okay, Panthers on their first man up. Page. Finds Matson, up to Betzel, number 15. 
Rice back to Betzel, to Page. Fitch curling around inside. Skip pass to Rice, takes a windup, shot, score. Panthers fed the crease pretty well there. David Rice got a step, made the shot. 2 nothing Panthers. Panther goal number 37, David Rice. Assisted by number 22, Kyle Page. Oh, good work there. Caused a little confusion inside. Kyle Page, good feeder, found David Rice up top. Has that nice skip shot, that one in just low. 5.07 to go in the first. Kai on a faceoff. Another clean win. Good work by Braden Kai. Pick that up clean. There it is. Good clean pick. Oh, couldn't feed. Couldn't get his hands free. Ball was still loose. Who wants it? Still down. They're going to box out, pick it up. Nobody wants it. Still loose. Matson will come out with it. Has Fitch down low. Oh, there's Kai inside. Nice look by Fitch. Boy, Kai paid the price on that one. Got the feed and took a big hit. Kyle Chase. Flag didn't come out. I thought he might have got helmet there. Came across. Panther pickup. Ben Southern. Strong ear on Ben Southern. Nice clear right across the middle. Kai with it. Right down the shot. They have numbers. Good feed inside. Oh, Matson with a little move. Goalie made a better save. Panthers a little more aggressive on their ride tonight, although they're Running right up the sideline now. Pass across, that's Stewart. Dort. It's going to make a move, step it in the box, and settle. Finds Weber. Weber will skip it across, little bounce pass. Heaps has the ball. Pretty much in a 3-3 box now, Central. They're going to probably dodge from outside and haven't had any moves inside. Dwayne Desenzo will defend. Left move, right move, nothing there. Good work by the Panthers to switch and slide. Dodge inside, gets by his man. Second slide there, nothing there. No shot. Good work by the Panthers. Lissell chase behind. That's O'Donoghue with the ball. Switch back, not there. Gavin Keith says, no, I'll take that in my crease, step it out, and we'll clear it. 3.15 to go in the first. Panthers on top, 2-0. Ryan Betts will run it across. Takes a little check. Flag down. He's going to get a little bit of a slash on that. And we're going to get offside. Oh, we're offside again. Penalty, Central Catholic. Offside, 30 seconds. That's the second offside for Central. That, this year, the rules have changed a little bit in men's lacrosse. The, ref, the officials are told to look ahead for an offside, so they basically see if there's enough guys on each side of the field, but they did catch that trailing Central Catholic man offside. They only had two guys back. So we have Betts with the ball, finds Page. Stick check, ball down. Kyle picks it up, good play. A little Betzel screen, back to Rice. Rice up top. They're calling out a play from the bench. Betzel, nothing there. Back to Rice. Has Bartuziak open. Finds Fitch. Good feed inside to Matson. Oh, better save. Good work there by the Panthers. Scrum for the ball. Central has it. Uh oh, they'll go outside of the pool. Ball's down. Tommy Fitch will ride. Nothing there. That's Curley will come back to get the ball. Look to clear. He's got three attack men to beat. You're going to get a timeout, Central Catholic. And we're back, coming out of that Central timeout. They're going to mark her clear. We've got Mark Panko out there on defense, along with Ben Desenzo and David Pencrot. We're going to guard that midfield line for the clear. Central's gone pull to pull, give it to a midfielder. One man to beat, Fitch, he's across. Can't step off sides. So you got to sort of let him go if he gets past you. There's a step in. That's Heaps with the ball. Finds Dort. It's going to make a move on the center. Nothing there. Feed inside. Wow. Aaron passed there. Tried to feed inside. Went by everybody. Panther ball on that turnover. Panthers will switch. Central will make a little change. Rice, Morrow, and Betzel will jump on. That's our midfield senior line. Pass to Rice. Has room to step it across. He'll step it in. Panthers will settle, make a little bit of a change. 
Pankrat will come off. They're going to call their play inside. We're going to get some men in the crease working from the perimeter. Matson back in the far corner. Has Kyle Page behind. Feeds to Kyle. Matson takes his man inside. Hit that screen. Kyle goes the other way. Feed inside. Not there. Kyle could be a little rusty. Hasn't played too much since his injury. Oh, looks to make a check there. Man across. Panthers defend well. Ball on the ground. Central has to settle. 102 to go in the first quarter. Panthers on top, 2 0. Ball in the corner. That's McClure. McClure, sorry. Christian Teal will chase. Looks like Central's going to go for one last play, maybe dodge from the side or from the corner. They run a man on. Ball's back up top. Rice to beat. Gets a step by him. That's that first slide. Gets by Morrow. Shot. Save. Gavin Keith. Bounce shot. He was able to get his feet squared. Bounced off his stick and out of bounds. Central ball. 30 seconds to go. Lissell chase. Good work there. Keep his man outside. Back to the right side. Aaron pass again. He's off sides. He just stepped off. Boy, they did not see that. Central Catholic player stepped across the midfield line. Ooh, that hit the – Gavin stopped and hit the post. 13 seconds to go. Central ball behind. Section game for the Panthers. 4-0 in a section. Central is 1-3. Swim move, nothing there. Good work on list. Good feet work. Shot, score. Perrick, it looks like. I don't know who had the assist. Let's see who we're going to give a call here. Central Catholic goal, number 17, Farrick. Didn't catch the assist. He got a pass here. He made a little bit of a move, so they can give him an assist in the book. No assist up top. Five seconds to go, 2-1 Panthers. Ryan Betzel near side, number 15, far side, Ben Southern. Braden Kive on a faceoff. See if the Panthers can do anything. Five seconds. Kive has been great on the faceoff tonight. Won him clean. Scooped it through again. Clock will tick. Three, two, one. Page shoot. Save. Nice work by the Panthers. We'll go to the end of the first. Panthers on top, 2-1. We'll be back. Okay, we're ready to start the second quarter. Upper St. Clair hosting Central Catholic tonight. Looks like the weather's been holding off. It looks like a little bit front might be coming through soon, so the Panthers got to get some goals before it gets a little bit wet out there. The mesh, the cross, everything gets wet. The ball's slippery. The footing's no good. Let's set this face off. We have Christian Teal, senior long stick mini near side. It's senior rec night tonight for the Panthers. They're... Not their last home game. We're going to have a playoff home game with the Panthers record this year. Braden Kyle will face off. Ben Tobias far side. Let's see what we have here. Central's going to face. That'll be Heaps against Kybe. Farrat this side for the Vikings. And across is Curly. Referees will set him up. They'll whistle live. Procedure call. A white ball. It looks like the central faceoff man want to get a little jump on Kai, but right away, just like that, Ben Tobias will bring it up. Step it in. He'll come off. Betts will come back on. I don't know if Kai's going to come off also. He's going to run across. Morrow will get back on our senior line. Right on. Kai comes right back on. He stays on. Pass down. David Rice will pick it up. Oh, Kai will come off. Looks like he's going to come off more. He's going to chase. Oh, little fake again. Little dipsy doodle there. Oh, you got to look for him. He is wide open. That's a nice play. Takes his man all the way to the sideline, backs him up. Central aggressive on that man to man check. You got to recognize that. Brayden had all kind of room inside. Top right to Rice. Back to Betzel. There's the switch. Morrow will come on. Morrow's got room. Feeds him inside. Has some speed. Looks shot wide. Good play there. Panthers chase. Matson back there to cover along with Tom Fitch. Ball be whistled in. Panthers yell out a call from the bench in unison. Fitch takes him inside out. Has room. Oh, another good save by Central's goalie. Boy, Tommy Fitch with a nice move. Takes his man. Turns him around. Better save. Central clear. Gets it across. Ben Tobias will run on for the Panthers. See if Central's going to settle. Take it in a box. Step it in. 
Pretty even game so far. Goalies have done a good job stopping the ball tonight. Usually a lot of goals are given up in lacrosse. If you can make six or seven saves a night, that's a great night for a goalie. Top right, little fake, nothing there. Back on top. Looks to dodge, can't get his hands free. Little flip pass. Oh, shot score. Just like that. 23 to 24. See if I can make a call for these guys. Central Catholic goal, number 24, Heaps. Assisted by number 23, Curly. Oh, just like that, 2-2, two, 10.40 two, to go in the second. Had his hands free, a little flip pass, got it to a man and scored. Another clean win, Braden Kybe right down the middle. Matson, Fitch, one more. Shot score. Nice score. Panther goal, number 14, Tom Fitch. Assisted by number 21, Mac Matson. Nice work there by the Panthers. That's how you run a fast break. No different than a fast break in hockey or an odd man break or a fast break in basketball. Come down, make the defense, make that first move. Man slides, pass it to the open man. One more. That's what they did. One more pass. Fitch finished. Kybe on the faceoff again. We have Ben Southern near side. Ben Tobias far side. Ball is loose. Central win that faceoff. Look inside. Good defense. Ball is up. Ball is still loose. Kicked outside. Braden Kybe will pick it up. Two men to beat. Timeout. Panthers. Good call, Coach Yates. We're back off that timeout. The rain's coming hard right now. Panthers coming off a timeout. Let's settle up for the Panthers. We have David Rice, number 37, senior captain. Colin Kerr, freshman midfielder, number 32. And Ryan Betzel, senior number 15 at midfield. If Andrew Bartizia is going to use his athletic ability to run that ball up. He's got two men to beat. Look to take him in and out. Find a sideline. They shut that off. They seal that sideline well. He's going to go back inside in the middle. He's got room. Nice pass across. Oh, a little high for Betzel. Good hustle, Matson, to pick that ground ball up. Finds Kerr. Kerr back to Fitch. Got Ryan Kincaid, number three junior attackman in there now for Kyle Page. Procedure call. What happened there? I don't know what happened there. Maybe someone stepped on the field. We've got the head of officials out there who we won't say anymore. Central tried to cross it. Three men to beat. Steps it across. He's in. They're going to start the count. He steps it in the box. 9.06 to go in the first half. Panthers on top, 3-2. Rain coming down hard now at Upper St. Clair Stadium. Section game for the Panthers. Heaps with the ball. Central midfielder looks to dodge. Betzel stays with him tight. Doesn't let his arms free. Good work, Ryan Betzel. Weber with the ball has Ben Tobias to beat. 16 on 16. Takes him in and out. Ben stays with him well. Skip pass. Shot. Why? Gavin Keith, good position. A little fog coming in over there. Cody Lance on the camera. You see that fog, Cody? We don't want to pan over there. People know what fog looks like. That's Curly with the ball up top. Work off a screen. Panther switch, that's Betzel, not giving him any room. Good work, look to pass inside, the ball is down. Ben Tobias picks it up, loses his footing, call him, man behind. Woo, Benny, good time to pull that down. Almost loses his feet again, he's got to go with those three-quarter inch spikes, I think. Betzel inside, has got room. Nice pass inside to Fitch. Oh, the ball is down. Good pickup, it's in. Christian Teal, or is that Panko? Oh, that's Mark Panko, number six and eight. It's hard to see. Panther goal, number six, Mark Panko. Unassisted. Oh, nice work there by the junior long stick midi slash defenseman. Mark Panko found that loose ball, dumped it in. That must have been the fog. You're right, Cody. Fog got in his way. No one else saw it but Mark Panko. We have Teal near side. Kyb on the faceoff. Ball is down. Cool, clear. It's loose. Work their fast break. Good ball movement. Nice work by Ben Southern to come across with that long pull. Deflect that shot. Panther ball. Very good work. Ben Southern's had a very strong season for the Panthers. 
Everybody's stumbled a little bit. He's had just a solid game, game after game. Braden Cobb will work behind. He's going to work that clear. Two men to beat. Old pass knocked down. Two men there. Oh, what a save. Gavin Keith with a beautiful save. Came out the challenge. Stick in the air. Good work. Panthers bringing it across. Colin Curl stepping in. Boy, Panthers turned it over. Ball was loose. Two on O. Gavin Keith stood tall. Shut it down. Good work there, Gavin. He must be good in the fog also. Ball back behind. Ryan Kincaid has a ball number three junior. Finds Kyle Page. Little giddy up there. Finds Colin Kerr. Back to Trevor Morrow up top. Trevor finds David Rice. Left side to Fitch. Fitch back to Page. Oh, Colin cut inside. A little low on the pass. Didn't see him. Fitch will make a move. Nothing there. Tom pulled out. That's it. Back up top to Trevor Morrow. Panthers will rotate through. Colin Kerr with the ball, finds Kincaid. Kerr will go inside. They've got three men in the crease. Work off a screen to Rice. Kerr will roll off that screen. Back up top, Kincaid to Morrow. Morrow finds Fitch. Good ball movement by the Panthers. Nice quick passes. There's a curl. Once again, I think, you know, we might have curled a little bit too early. That set play is to go off a double screen. Colin curled. Kyle Page, by the time he got it, looks inside. That play's already been made. Rice has that low shot. Wide. He's got that good low shot from that side. Central's ball. 6-19 and counting first half. Panthers up 4-2. Central Catholic, they're going to work a clear. Oh, Kyle Page lays a shoulder into his man. Ball is down. There's no give up on that kid. Panthers are, I mean, excuse me, Central stepping in. No working from up top. Panthers will make a few changes. I think they're going to bring Kyle Page off and say, Kyle, just... Save yourself there, son. Ball behind it, X. Little switch, teal switch. Can't get his hands free. Save again. Keith says no. Boy, that cross looks like a trampoline he's holding tonight. Central's got to find a way to get in there. Good speed, Ben Southern. Boy, did he bring that across fast. Pass to Kincaid to Fitch. Three moves. It's in. Beautiful play. Good clear by Ben Southern. Nice feed from Ryan Kincaid. Tommy Fitch has more moves than you can imagine. Good finish. Panther goal, number 14, Tom Fitch, assisted by number three, Ryan Kincaid. We'll go to a timeout. Okay, we're back out of that Central Catholic timeout. The Panthers were, game was tied at two. Panthers have rallied three goals now, 5-2 lead. That was a picture perfect. They've had two fast break plays tonight where Ben Southern brought one up, Braden Kai brought one up. Those quick passes, bang, 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 score, that's the way to do it. Panthers looking strong right now. 5.34 to go in the second quarter. Mark Panko will be near side, number six. Trevor Morrow, far side in the faceoff. Number 24, Braden Kai will take the faceoff. Junior faceoff specialist will pick it up. No, he doesn't. Ball is still loose. Procedure call. Central ball. No, Panther ball. Trevor Morrow will scamper across midfield line. Looks to step in a box and settle. Has David Rice, senior attack man with him. Brian Betzel, that's our senior, excuse me, our midfield line. Panthers will spread it out wide. Back to Kyle Page. Finds Matson behind an X. Panthers are calling out some plays. Back outside, we have Fitch to Betzel. David Rice will go inside to the crease area. To Trevor Morrow, they're going to see if they're going to make a dodge for Trevor. Strong left hand. Ooh, came out of the mesh. That ball gets wet. It's hard to control. No whip there. That just flew out of the cross. Page will step it in. Finds Matson. Rain is coming down really steady. Not as hard as it was a few minutes ago. Oh, feet inside. That's the only trouble you have now. A good look, good feet, but the ball is hard to control in that mesh when it gets wet. Panthers stepping across. Change made. Panko will run out quickly to defend. David Rice with a hard wrap check. Ball is loose again. It comes out of that cross. That ball is a hard piece of rubber. It gets wet. It's really hard to control. No penalties, boys. Central picks it up. Panko will chase. That's Curly with a ball. He'll find his buddy Duart. Central make a change. They'll bring a man on. Panthers doubled. 
Fake inside. Slide. Good fat. Oh, good feed. That just happened to bounce in. That was a nice play. Panthers got a little lazy on defense there, and I didn't see who scored. Gonna have to get a call from the booth. I missed that. Score and assist, please. Central Catholic goal number 18, Quinlan, assisted by number seven, Dort. I think that's how you pronounce it. And we're back live, 344. Well, actually, we never went anywhere. I just had to get that call. 5-3 Panthers. We have Fitch with the ball behind. He's going to run off a screen. No, he's going to find Matson. We have Kit Fitch, Kincaid, Matson back there. We have Betzel, Panko, and Kerr. We're going to make some switches, get our midfield line out there and get settled. Bartusiak will step on, number 44, junior midfielder. 3.23 to go in the first. Bartuzak with the ball, make a switch. David Rice will come back on. Panthers will set up their settled offense. We'll switch sides. Rice will step it back into just a check. Up to Bartuziak. He's going to run inside. Panthers will sometimes clog that crease here, two or three men. They got three inside. Works from inside screens. Rice looks to shoot right off a defender. Ball is loose. Central picks it up. They're going to chase. Strong ride, Batson, curve. Rice, ball is loose. Pick it up, Andrew. Good pick up, Andrew Bartusiak. Panthers did a good job boxing on that. Nice pass inside. Curve, spin move. Oh, he can't get his hands free. Still has the ball. Good work, Panther ball. David Rice outside. Colin found a collapsing defense in there. Able to handle that ball pretty well inside. 2.29 to go, 5-3 Panthers. Matson with the ball. Will he pull his man out wide and dodge? Two men in the crease. Finds Rice inside. We got Kincaid and Fitch are running an inside screen. David Rice will set a pick. Nothing there. Calling to go left to right. Run that screen the other way. Nothing there. Ball back to Fitch. Try the ISO. Matson will try to curl. Gets the slide. Look inside. Just like that. It's easy. You draw that slide. Central guys are looking at each other. Matson to Kincaid. Or excuse me, that was Bartusiak from Matson, I think, right? Panther goal, number 44, Andrew Bartusiak, assisted by number 21, Mac Matson. Good work there, Panthers. That's what you do. You draw that slide, a little fake dodge. Second man comes over to help. Someone's free. Good look inside, good finish. Two minutes ago, Panthers back on top, 6-3. Mark Panko near side, Braden Kybel face. Got Trevor Morrow far side in that face off. Scoops it up, gives it to Trevor. Trevor will run across. Finds Tom Fitch, back tomorrow. It's tonight, it's not tomorrow. Tomorrow with the ball back up to David Rice, he's up top. Bands have done a good job working ball around. They've had two or three in the crease, they'll work an inside screen. Back to Matson. Fitch inside. He's gonna look to set a screen maybe at the crease. So we have a double screen inside. Fitch and Kincaid, Batson will pull the ball, throw the ball back up top. Trevor Morrow run off the screen. Nothing there. Back to Fitch. Three men in the crease. They're going to run a screen. Who's going to come off? Man doesn't clear, but it went far side. Good work. Good finish by Matson. Central saw two men in the crease looking for that clear again, or that double screen. Fitch to Matson. Good work, boys. Just like that, 7-3 Panthers. Panther goal, number 21, Mac Matson. Assisted by number 14, Tom Fitch. That's the way to go, Panthers. 109 to go in the first half. Section game, Panthers hoping, hosting Central Catholic. Rain's pretty steady. You want to get some goals before it gets too sloppy out there. Once the mesh and that cross gets wet, it's very hard to handle. Got some exuberant fans out here tonight. Good crowd for the Panthers senior night. Ball is loose. Mark Panko picks it up. Junior long pull. Timeout Panthers, good call. Coach Yates going to have a minute to settle, see what they can do. Oh, we're on. I don't know. There's some kind of mix-up on the play here. The official's coming over to St. Clair bench, coming off that timeout. I guess it's nothing. Central came out of the timeout a little slow. 57 seconds to go. We'll set this up for the Panthers. 
Betzel running in, finds Masson, flag down right there. Looks like we got a little bit of a cross check or a slash. So we got a play on with a flag down. Kyle Page behind, number 22, senior attack man. Look inside, finds Betzel. Ooh, goes to make a move, ball down, can't find it, comes up with it. They're going to make the call now as the ball stopped. Man up team for the Panthers. Offside. Offside, Central, 30 seconds. Penalty, Central Catholic, offside, 30 seconds. So with 34 seconds to go and a half, Panthers are going to have a man up. Matson finds Page, Page to Fitch. Fitch to Bartusiak. Back up top to Rice. Back to Bartusiak. Panthers moving inside, trying to create some confusion. Page will dodge. Nice hard feed to Rice. Shot wide. <clears throat> well, Kyle Page is a good feeder, even on a one and a half legs. Kyle stepping in again. Nice feed inside. Oh, what a save. Boy, the keepers have done a good job tonight. That was a beautiful feed. Partusiak with a nice shot. Central feed. He'll heave it down the field. Almost made contact. Ben Southern, you have time to shoot. Too late, too little. Right on goal, though. All right, we'll be back in the second. 7-3, Panther lead, end of the first. Okay, we're back coming out of halftime. <clears throat> Panthers on top, 7-3, hosting Central Catholic section game. Tim Kerr on the mic. Cody Lance on the camera. My spotter, Beanie Kerr, is running around the rain tonight, going to the concession stand. I do have Central's roster, which is helping me tonight. I can read it. See, we got Betzel near side, number 15 for the faceoff of the Panthers. Braden Kai will take the face. Pick up clean. Good work by Kai. Nice pass. One more. Good cross pass. Oh, was that beautiful? Zigzag bang. Good work there, Kyle Page to Tom Fitch. Panther goal, number 14, Tom Fitch. Assisted by number 22, Kyle Page. Boy, it's nice to call Kyle's name. Hasn't been out, or he's been out for about eight games with a torn ACL, believe it or not. He's got a brace on there going, working through it. Said, hey, I'm not playing next year, so I'm going to just keep at it. Partially courageous, partially a little bit crazy, but that's what you get when you're 18. Procedure call, Central stepping in. Two men to beat. Being harassed by Tobias and Kaib. The store with the ball looks to move. One inside, gets his hand free. A little skip shot. Gavin had it on his mesh, came out. Ball behind. Central settle. Right side. Looks to beat Panko. Can't do that. Ben Tobias to beat. Little spin move. Nothing there. Good slide. Number two, Ben Southern. He came over, slid, picked the man up, shut him down. Oh, Aaron pass. That's what you like to see. Ball's going to skip across. Good hustle. There goes Page. Go Fitch. Pick it up. Offside. Panther ball. They're going to play on. Kai has it to Tobias. Ooh. Little slash there. Another one didn't. Oh, there's that connected. Come on. You got to throw that. Officials this year, they've been told to get anything that's a slash to make that call. Two or three times every slash, a stick at him didn't contact the stick. You're allowed to hit stick to stick, but not freehand. That was a point of emphasis this year for the officials. Trevor Morrow up top. Finds David Rice. Going to make a switch. Betzel will come back on. Matson finds Kyle Page. 8-3 Panthers. We're going to have an ISO for David Rice now. He's going to pull his man up top. That's Dort on him. Left to right, Rice has that shot from about 12 yards out. Skip shot, not there. That's settle. Back up to Trevor Morrow. Trevor with a move inside, nothing there. Two men there. Finds Betzel. Got Matson and Fitch inside, a little curl. Spin move by Morrow, shot. Oh, it did go in. I don't know how that could in. I think that went off the goalie's net and in. He looked like he was square to the ball, looked like it hit his mesh, it's in. Nonetheless, Trevor Morrow makes it 9 3 for the Panthers. Panther goal, number 24, Trevor Morrow, unassisted. Good work, Panthers. They went up 1-0, 2-1, 2-2, 3-3, 9-3 Panthers now in the second. Rain is now just trickling down. David Pencrod on that faceoff. Kai picks it up clean, pops it back in. You get that on the backside of your cross, that faceoff. You go back to back. It gets pinched in there. We call a pinch in the crease head or in the crosshead. You got to flip it up. You got one flip to flip it up and 
control the ball. Braden Kaib doing a fine job on a faceoff tonight. He's probably won all but maybe two. Steps it in the box. Panthers will make some changes. Kyle Page with the ball. Finds Matson. Colin Curl step on. There's another switch. Andrew Bartuziak is going to come on. Page will wait. Going to work off of Matson's screen. Accelerates through. Ball down. Ball is still loose. Rain picking up a little bit again. Ball is slippery. Ball is still down. Good pickup. It's Braden Kai with a pickoff. Matson across. Finds Bartuziak. Tommy Fitch ducked to save his head on that one. Ball is clear. Panther ball. Matson to Page. A little bit of switch behind. No play catch. Finds Bartuziak. Fake inside. Back up top to Kerr. He's got a long pull on him, so you want to try to dodge against that. That's tough. You want to get a short stick on you to make that dodge. Kybe to Page. Page to Fitch. Panthers will go inside, work that double move. Turn inside. Boy, how'd he find a goal there? That was a goal by Mac Matson, just from goal line extended, got his hands free, and I don't think the keeper even saw that shot. 10 3 Panthers. Panther goal, number 21, Mac Matson, unassisted. Well, the Panthers working good inside. Page and Matson working behind it. X. Tommy Fitch inside to the crease. Caused a little confusion. Central's looking for that double man screen inside. And Matson shot that goal line extended a la Lemieux there on a goal line and just pushed it through. Although there's no comparison to Matson on Lemieux. That was just an observation. Page with the ball. Betzel with it. Back to Page. Finds Matson in the corner. Panthers make a switch. David Rice will come on. Mark Panko inside, long pull, looking to get a feed. He had a goal tonight. Not too often those long six get a chance to score. Back to David Rice. They'll make that switch. Trevor Morrow will step over. Panthers call out of play. They'll screen that out from the bench in unison in mass. Fitch for the ball. Back to Rice. Finds Trevor Morrow. Eight minutes to go in the third quarter. The Panthers have a commanding 10-3 lead against Central Catholic. Section game. Panthers 4-0 in a section. They're tied with Mount Lebanon in section record. Matson off the screen, a little fake, nothing there. Back up top to Rice. Rice looks to dodge, no screen. Inside out, nothing there. Skip pass, finds Betzel. Kyle Page goes off the of Matson screen, going to curl. Does he have a room to curl? Not there, a little fake. Back to Rice. Shot low, save made. Good ball work by the Panther, good movement. They're going to go to a pull, make that clear. Back across, that's Heaps. Throws it across, ball's loose. Backside help, Christian Tyrrell pick that up. Good ground ball, good quick transition. Matson Page calling for it. He has Fitch inside. Nothing there, he's going to settle. Good work, didn't want to force it inside. Back to Matson. Panthers calling out a play. Three men in the crease. They have a 2-3-1 they're working on. Panthers are still going to make some changes. It's like Braden Cobb's going to want to step on. He'll pull off Mark Panko long stick. Step across. Panthers have not been penalized tonight. They had two man advantages, Central Cath. Oh, three. They had some offsides call. Now we're going to get Desenzo off and Bartuziak on. So we have our junior, junior freshman line out there at midfield. Matson's got some man to beat. Look inside, draws a slide, finds Page. Quick moving up the Kerr, back across. Bartuziak. Good crisp pass as Bartuziak's going to take that shot. Score. Got his hands up high, turned, had room. Good finish. Panther goal, number 44, Andrew Bartuziak. Unassisted. Good ball movement by the Panthers. Work around that perimeter, get some guys inside. We had a pretty good matchup in that first quarter, but Panthers are really taking charge now. We're going to have sophomore Ben Tobias on the faceoff, number 16. David Pencrot near side. And that is, is that Ben? No, that's Mark Panko, far side. Boy, that's 6, 2, and 8 are hard to see, I'll tell you. Pick up, ball down. We're going to get a push. Oh, we're going to get a push with possession. The Panthers will take that first penalty. I shouldn't have said anything. We're going to get a trip. 
one minute. So Panko will find himself in the sin bin. Panthers will go man down for the first time. Penalty, Upper St. Clair, one minute, tripping. Let's see what the Panthers do on their defensive set, man down. We have four long pulls in there, Teal, Liss, Southern, and Panko. Oh, no, that's Sean Pacalo in there. And also Ben Tobias inside is the only short pull. Has Dort with the ball, looks across, gets his hands free. Oh, nice save, ball down. I don't know if that got through and Gavin made that save or Ben Southern got a stick on it. Tossed across, calling list, good pickup. Boy, we got some senior defenders really playing a strong game tonight on senior night. We're going to miss them next year. List Teal, Piccolo. Ben Southern, ball thrown out of bounds. Unforced error by the Panthers, a little sloppy there. 5.15 to go in a third, 11-3 Panther lead. Central Catholic, the opponent. Penalty will be released pretty soon. Central looks to clear. Made a bad pass. Ball's out of bounds. Andrew Partuzzi, I guess, pick it up and step it on. Man wide open inside. Matson all alone. Boy, a little unselfish play there. Settles it. Panthers have a pretty strong lead. That happened at Butler. They made some unselfish plays. Kyle Page back up top to Bartusiak. Colin Kerr with the ball. Has a short pull on him. See if he'll beat that man. Takes it to the corner. He's going to cross inside. Kyber Matson inside. Look to work a screen. Bartusiak back up top to Kerr. See if he's going to dodge. No room to shoot. Pushed outside. Oh, they're going to get a push or maybe a cross check there. Inside. Nice pass. Oh, shot save. Oh, he's upset with himself there. Nice pass by Fitch. Let's get the call. We're going to get a cross check. Central Catholic penalty, one minute, cross check. So Panthers are going to go man up. Let's set the scene. We have Kyle Page behind, number 22, senior. Ryan Betzel, 15, senior. Got the ball to step it in. Mac Matson will have it. That's a junior, number 21. Tommy Fitch back there, right there with the ball, 14. Andrew Bartusiak, back to David Rice. Back to Bartusiak. Good ball movement. They switch direction. Kyle Page will work behind. Oh, tried to make that move. That knee said no. Ball was down. Central controls it. <clears throat> Kyle's mind says yes, and his leg says no. He's got good speed, but that leg is hampering him a little bit, but had a great strong game tonight. Ball across, two men to beat. Panthers are man up. They got to double that ball. That's Dort. It'll bring it across. He's going to go right down the alley. Central will be wise just to settle that ball. They're going to feed inside. Kill clock. Are they going to try to score? They're down 11-3. to three. Who's that again? Ben Southern. Don't have to look for that number. Ball is still loose. Little skirmish out there. Central comes up with it. Pass back in. Dort with the ball. Has Rice to beat. Take a left side shot. Wide. 3.15 to go in the third. Panthers on top. 11-3. This is not going to be our last home game. Panthers look to host a playoff game this year. Haven't done that for quite a while. If ever. Al Himmler giving me a call from across the booth there. Dodge up top. Rice to beat. Nothing there. Panthers shut it down. Panthers have done a good job on defense tonight. Ball is down. Picked up. Good slide. The defenders are really doing a good job on that slide. When a man's beat, the next man over slides. Takes the man. The next man adjacent to his man who's left. You got to go pick him up. Panthers done a great job tonight. Ben Southern to beat, gets his hands free, shot wide. 2.34 to go in the third. Panthers on top, 11-3, hosting Central Catholic. Panthers travel up to State College for a game, non-section game on Saturday. And then they'll just settle in practice, and they got bitter rival Mount Lebanon, who we haven't beaten in a number of years at Mount Lebanon. Bartusiak across, one man to beat, little wrap check, nothing there. We're even. Bartusiak will step it in, settle the play. Finds Mac Matson behind at X. Panthers call play. 
Bartuzak, oh, ball down. Don't get sloppy, guys. Ball is still loose. You got to talk. Ground ball, you got to say ball down. Central bringing it across, being chased by Betzel. That's Curly. Ball's loose. Oh, he has one man. Oh, nice pass, boy. He had him. That was a good look there by McClure. Didn't connect. Ball out of bounds. Panther ball, 147 to go in the third. Betts will try to clear. One man to beat. Trevor's over here. Cross, good catch. Colin Curl pick it up, crossing midfield line. He'll step it in. Finds Matson. We got Morrow, Kerr, and Kive out there at midfield. The same attack stays on. Matson will work off a page screen. Being slapped by that long pull. Hold his free hand out to guard. Back to Page, see what Kyle can do inside. We got two men in the crease. Finds Colin Kerr up top. Quick movement. Back to Morrow. Morrow will take him left. Got that left side shot. Rumbling in there. Shot score. Rumble stumble. Got that momentum going. Good shot. Better goal. 103. Panther lead. 12 3. Panther goal. Number 24. Trevor Morrow. Unassisted. That's the way we like it. Panthers played up at Butler on Monday night. Butler was a non-section opponent. Panthers were heavily favored in that game. Took an early 8-0 lead. Got a little sloppy. They got a little lax of days ago. And you worry about that going into a couple games. It might be you find easy going into a big, strong section matchup with my 11 if the Panthers have really poured along tonight. Passed the ball well. Defended well. Good face-offs. All aspects of the game have been good for the Panthers. Pitch for the ball behind. Being harassed, nothing there. Tom Fitch with a good, strong season for the Panthers at attack. Matson and Page will play a little bit of catch. Robert Hall Bula on the field, inside and increase. Number nine for the Panthers. Senior midfielder, ball to Harbula. Switches hands, looks to dodge. Nothing there. Back to Kyle Page. Little runs off the referee screen there. Back to Kerr. Pass to Bart or to Kybe, sorry. Braden Kybe will run it back behind. Finds Matson. Harbuel low curl. Nothing there. Fitchy wants the ball inside. Nothing there. Finds Harbuel it, and that'll do it. At the end of the third, the Panthers lead 12-3. We'll be back. Okay, we're going to start the fourth quarter. Senior rec night for the Panthers lacrosse. Last regular season home game for the Panthers. We got Ben Tobias near side, number 16. Braden Cobb, another clean faceoff win. He's been very nice on those faceoffs tonight. Good clean wins. Panthers showing good signs of coming back off a little bit of a sloppy play game. There's a flag down. Matson with the ball behind. We got a play on. Central's taking another penalty. Look inside. Matson feeds to Fitch. Step and shoot, score. Boy, we've seen that combination a lot of times this year. Panther goal number 14, Tom Fitch. Assisted by number 21, Mac Matson. Well, the Panthers had a play on. A lot of times when you get a play on call, the other team sort of lets their guard down or they get a little aggressive. But that time, we just had that little play inside. Tom Fitch got his hands free. When he gets his hands free, he's usually going to have a nice, clean shot. Good work by Fitch. Good feed by Matson. Panthers on top now, 13 to three. The penalty is not released. They're going to still serve. What was that call? <laughs> going to run down side right down the slot. Going to make that call. Teal kick it out. Pick it up with that long stick and keep running. He'll step across. Good work by Teal. Nice feed. Fitch tells him to settle. Matson will settle behind. Penalty, Central Catholic. One minute slash. I think I had the live mic on. The fans might have heard my play-by-play. 11.08 -play. to go. Panthers have settled. They're into a man-up situation. Have Kyle Page behind. Finds Fitch. Oh, nice feed inside. Ball down, better save. Didn't go in, boy. Matson's mad at himself there. That's a good combination. Fitch found Matson inside, just couldn't finish. 
Ball is down. Aaron pass. Boy, Kyle Page throwing his body out there. He has no respect for that body now, baby. Go to step across, riding hard. That's why it's nice to see him back. He plays just full speed the whole time. We're going to get a flag. Oh, no flag there. Flag comes late over here. Central goal. So we got a central goal, and we're going to get a penalty on the Panthers probably for a cross-check or unnecessary roughness. Got to turn my roster here to see who scored for Central Catholic. Central Catholic goal, number five, McClure, unassisted. Penalty, Upper St. Clair, one minute, unnecessary roughness. That's one man's opinion. I thought that might have been necessary. Ball is down. That's Ben Tobias on the faceoff. Central comes out with it. They go man up, I think, for the second time tonight. Panthers with a commanding 13-4 lead. Central's going to work up top. Top side goes left. Bottom left. That's the goal scorer of late. That's McClure back up top. No shot. Good work by the Panthers. Tight in that box. Looking for that backside feed. It's not there. Good work by the Panthers. Good recognition by Gavin Keith. Saw that cutter coming in. Good positioning. Comes out of that crease. Makes the crease look smaller if you step out of that crease. Turnover. Upper St. Clair ball. That's Ben Tobias with the ball. He's going to run it up. Finds Ben Southern across. Going to play a little catch with his teammate, Colin List. Oh, sun might have gotten his eyes there. Of course, the sun would be maybe in Australia now, but nonetheless, it couldn't connect. That was a good cross, cross to cross play. Colin List looked up, though, just looked like he lost sight of the ball. Central step it back in. That's heaps for the ball. Shot wide. Central ball again. They're going to bring it in. That's O'Donohue. Looks to get past List. That ain't going to happen. Oh, nice dodge there. Not there. F faced across. Uh oh, play's going to flag's going to be whistled dead. We've got a little extracurricular activity on the Panthers. Referee says, "Come here, young fella." Going to get a penalty on the Panthers. Ben Tobias. Let's see what we got there. One minute for something. Panthers will go. Upper St. Clair penalty, one minute, unnecessary roughness. So the Panthers find themselves down again. They hold it together, boys. There's a pass across, back up top. That's DeWart over to McClure, back behind. Look inside. Fed there is going to look curl, got his hands free. Shot, score. No goal in the crease. Good work there by Central. Waved off, man in the crease. Cannot be in that crease. You can shoot. And then fall into the crease after the ball crossed the line. But evidently someone stepped in. We're going to go pull to pull. Good connection there. Good pass. Five Andrew Bartusiak's got three men to beat. Cross that midfield line. A little tap. Going to get that flag on that cross or that slash. I guess the refs heard me. They got to call every slash this year. It was getting a little bit out of hand years past. Well, you can't throw the stick either. That should be another call there, number seven. That's right. That's a delay of game if you. Move a man's piece of equipment. You got to drop it now. This year, you got to drop the ball where it lays. They have that quick whistle. It's always easy to call those plays up here. Penalty Central Catholic, one minute slash. Tim Kerr is reviewing some of those points of interest this year that they want to really emphasize lacrosse rules, and then slashing is one of them. So it's tough for a lot of these kids to adjust. I've been playing three or four years at the varsity level, get a little quick with that stick, but they want to make those calls to protect the player's safety. Inside pass, feed, score, just like that. That's Christian Glycus out of nowhere. Junior attack man. Panther goal, number 11, Christian Glycus. Assisted by number 21, Mac Matson. 
Good work, Panthers. 14-4, Panthers on top. Panthers still a man down. Referee's going to come over and confer at the sideline to see what we're going to do here. If he's released, he is released. No, he's still in the box. He just moved over to the center of the box so the referee can see him maybe, but he is not released. So we have Desenzo on that faceoff. Panko far side. Come on, Dwayne, pick it up. Ball's still loose. Panko thought he had it. Ball was still down. Central have it. They're going to go in transition. They got numbers. Oh, forced inside. Ball was down. That's Quillen with the ball. That's Pekela to beat. See if he's going to dodge. Get that slide. Tobias tried to swim. Got through. Nice save, Gavin. That one off a leg. That'll feel bad in the morning. Eh, he'll heal. He'll be okay. 7.45 to go in the fourth. Panthers on top, 14-4. Central back at X. Gets his hand turned. Good work. Good defense. Good move. That was O'Donohue. Came around strong. Had list to beat Gavin Keefe with the save. Central chase. It's their ball. That was McClure back to save the ball for Central. Looks to fake. A little dodge. Teal to beat. Nothing there. Good screen. That's a moving pick, though. Going to get an interference call. I'm going to get a slash. That went off the helmet. Panther penalty. One minute slashing. Okay, Central go back man up. Looks the feed back across. Inside. Good recovery. Ben Southern again. Woo! Deep. I played catch with a central defender. Pull to pull. It's like a fraternity, those guys. Those long sticks stick together. Bad pass. Ball's picked up. And a DeWard will scamper up. Looks to shoot. Takes a hop step. Gavin Key said, you can hop and step all you want. I see that clear. I'm going to make that save. Pass across. Oh, nice catch. Ben Tobias. Like a short hop. Ben will step it in. No force it, Ben. Bounce pass to Matson. Back to Ryan Kincaid, number three, junior attack man. A lot of senior action tonight. Senior rec night, so they've given a lot more time to those senior players. They've earned it. They've played strong all season. Panthers 12 and 1 on the season. Matson will come across, looks to feed, knocked down, skipped across, picked up by Central's goalie. Pulled a short stick. Kincaid and Fitch will chase. There's some effort there on a cross, but they are across. Whoop, off sides, no call. Ooh. Let's see what we're going to get here. Both teams pointing at each other for offsides. So it is. Panther ball. Or is it Central? Well, it's Central Catholic ball. Which way is he pointing? Ball was far side over at the 30-yard line. Cody, my cameraman's trying to find the ball. Wake up, Cody. Ball's behind. That's McClure. Has List to beat. List will say no. He has that six-foot stick. Ben Southern on the slide. Turns his hand right at Gavin Keith. Boy, he was square to that shot. Shooter had some room. Gavin Keith shut it down. A lot of saves tonight. Good cross. Oh, nice feed inside. Oh, Michael Colian out of nowhere. Pull to pull. That is unbelievable. That was a beautiful goal. Panther goal. Number 26, Michael Colian. Assisted by number 10, John Pekela. That was nice work. Pull to pull. That's that transition game the Panthers need. 15 to 4, Panthers lead. Desenzo on the faceoff. We have Pankrot the near side. Panko far side. Ball is still loose. Dwayne will pick it up. Gets a little shove, steps it in. He'll settle. 
Dwayne will look across, run off a of Pencross screen. Now he'll stay up top. Panthers will make a switch. Going to bring Harbula back on. Glykus with the ball. Kincaid behind. They'll switch. Curl will go back at X. Passed up top to Harbula. Back to Pencrot. Harbula will take a shot. Wide, good chase. We had Glykus and Kerr back to save that. Robert Harbula, a nice shot there. 4.53 to go. Panthers on top, 15 to 4. Section action here, section one of, of Division One. Glykus with the ball. Runs off a screen, looks up top. That's Arbula, and who's got the ball there, number 19? Got to give a shout out to number 19. Got to get the cheaters on. Oh, Lucas Watts, sophomore midfielder. Coming off a hand injury. He's been out for a few games. Central in transition. Ball was down. Panthers look to pick it up. Ball is still loose. Watts had it. It's down again. Central has it. Man wide open. Let's see. Oh, what a save. Two or three moves. Gavin Keith decided to kick it out. He's got those steel tip work boots on tonight. Good pick up by the Panthers. That's Horace Rahman, sophomore defender. Plays a little catch with Gavin Keith. Horace with two men to beat. Two men to beat. David Bencrott will pick it up. Panthers got to get that ball across. Finds Watts. Watts steps it in. Nice pass to Glykus. Oh, turns him around. Ball's down. Central has the ball. Oh, he almost threw that in his own cage. Central has the ball. They're going to work there. Clear 3.20 to go in the game. Oh, don't slash him. Don't take a penalty. Pencrot will chase. Colian will run on. Go tonight for that long stick midi. Passed inside. Shot score. Gavin's been strong tonight. That's hard to stop that one from about 10 yards away. Good shot. 5 to 17. Farrick. Central Catholic goal number 17. Farrick. Assisted by number five, McClure. So 15-5 Panther lead, 3.08 to go in the game. Tim Kerr on the mic, Cody Lance on the camera. Hope to see you again when the playoffs start. Panthers will hopefully host a home game. I think we should. With the face-off circle. We got Carl Flinter, double zero out there now. Ben or Dwayne, ball is down. Carl will chase. Don't slash him, Carl. Passed inside, good deflection. Ball was loose, that's a free ball. Ron will pick it up, gets a push. Panther ball. That's a push with a loose ball push, so you get pushed over, you're going for the ball, you just get possession. If you have the ball, it'll be a 30 second penalty, a push with possession. So we're gonna get a delay of game just because we didn't get to pick up the ball? Okay, we know that official. Pass inside, timeout. Coach Yates, oh, what a beautiful timeout call. You don't recognize that, but they were going to give us a delay there, so they changed possession. We were didn't have the right number, the right personnel out there, so Coach Yates says, I'll just call a timeout. We'll shut that play down. So with 2.47 to go, Panthers lead 15-5, to and we'll be back. Okay, we'll come out of that great timeout call. What happened here is the Panthers failed to get to the ball quick enough, so they called a delay a game. It's a quick whistle now, so Central Catholic had just picked that up a go. Coach Yates recognized that, they had numbers on us. We were disorganized. So he called that timeout to shut it down. So he's always coaching their sideline along with Coach Flinner and their assistants. Making the right call at the right time. 2.33 to go in the game. 15-5, Panther lead. <clears throat> Play a little catch back there. Good work across. Looks like Jack Macero from here. Another sophomore, sophomore midfielder. He'll step it all across. Good speed, Jack. Finds Colin Kerr. Got a young, here's the future out there now. We have current freshman out there, number 28. Andrew Pletcher out there now, freshman. Carl Flinter, freshman. So we have our freshman midfield line out there. There's the future of San Panthers lacrosse. Ball is down. Stick down. Uh-oh. You're going to get a hard right there, buddy. Let's get the call. Timeout central. That was a good lucky call there for... 
our Panther defenders. Timeout, Central Catholic. So the stick was knocked loose. Ball was down, 15-5, Panther lead. From here we go to State College on Saturday to play a non-section game. And we'll finish the regular season <clears throat> at Mount Lebanon, and I don't think we've won at Mount Lebanon since I was in the seventh grade. So that's going to be a huge section game. Mount Lebanon had three or four losses on the season. Maybe more than that, actually. Panthers only one loss to Pine Ridge in the game that we had in hand. It was a good, well-played game. Pine Ridge a very strong team. I think we could match up well against them in the playoffs again. So stay tuned for when these Panthers are going to have a home playoff game, maybe more than that. Panthers lacrosse back on the map in the Whippeal lacrosse field. Coach Yates, first-year coach, has the team buying into the system. The team really is working as a unit. Lacrosse is a very team-oriented sport. you got to work together, a lot of quick passes, a lot of good defensive plays. Every man has to work together, and the Panthers have really bought into the system and played well. We do have a strong senior class. We'll be losing a lot of seniors next year, so youth, youth players, 7th and 8th graders, get that stick work in the summer. There could be some spots opening. 150 to go in the game. Central's coming off a timeout. They're going to try to work a play. Ball's whistled live. That's heaps with the ball. Going to work some rotation inside. Central's pretty much worked a Peruna game this year, or this game, not much inside. Ball was down. Still loose. Ground ball pick up Central. Take it behind at X. Has List to beat. Tries to turn around. List will stay right on him. Horace Roman will chase outside. Curl move. That's Curly. On the curl, Roman will chase. Ball is down. There's Dwayne Desenzo. He'll check his man. That's Farratt. One minute, nine seconds. Farratt gets his hand free. Ball, whoa, that's good. That's good for three points through the crossbar. Field goal doesn't count. Ball is behind at X. Central ball. They're back to cover. They'll maintain possession. Gavin Keith, he'll hold court inside there in the crease. Man knocked down. Panther ball. I know there's a crease violation. What happened? The ball did roll out of bounds. 48 seconds to go. Panthers are going to work that clear. Dwayne Desenzo will pick it up at midfield. Got a man on his back. Looked over his shoulder, saw his man. They'll step it across. We're going to get an offside call, maybe. I don't know what happened there. A slash will have stepped it in. Ball is down. Let's get the call. Panthers are going to find themselves man up. 32 seconds to go in the game. Panthers on top. There's a slash. Central Catholic penalty, one minute, slash. So Panthers, let's bring their man up team. See who they have out there for man up now. We're going to go with Robert Halbula, number nine. Dwayne Desenzo, number 23. David Pencrot, number 35. Ryan Kincaid, number three. Colin Kerr, number 32. And Christian Glycus, number 11. Skip pass. Boy, Desenzo finds himself wide open, takes a shot, scored. Boy, the goalie, something was wrong there. The goalie was confused or out of his crease. I don't know what happened. Boy, they gave him all kind of room right down the slot, and Desenzo said, I'll take that. Panther goal, number 23, Dwayne Desenzo, unassisted. So the Panthers look pretty good on that man up. I don't know if Central just has given up at this point. 16-5 lead Panthers. 26 seconds to go. We're going to have Andrew Pletcher, freshman face-off, his first face-off of the season in the varsity uniform. Michael Coulian near side. Robert Hobula far side. Let's see what Pletcher can do out there. Ball's loose. Central pickup. Pletcher will chase. Along with Coulian, they'll step it in the box. Central working around. 15 seconds, see if they can get a shot off. Harbula to beat. Good save, Gavin. He's going to look way downfield, decide to go to a pull. Little hand switch, giveaway, turnover Panthers. Look inside, didn't connect, ball's going to go out of bounds, and we end the game. The Panthers, 16, Central Catholic, 5. Panthers find themselves 13-1. and one. That's a lucky number for the Panthers. This is Tim Kerr signing off. We'll see you next time where Panthers varsity across. <laughs>